In a previous video, we installed the API and the single player server Spigot. When you run Spigot for the first time, it creates a new Minecraft world for you. But before you can use it, you need to set up a profile to make sure that Spigot and Minecraft are always running the same version. So these are the steps. First, find that Learn Python with Minecraft Tools folder that you downloaded previously and locate the icon Start Server and double click it. If asked for permission, just click on Open. This will start the Spigot server. It will ask you to wait for about 20 seconds, so please be patient. And if you see this message error, this build is outdated, just, just ignore that. So it's loading the libraries, so please wait. And it's done. And to confirm that it's ready, just make sure that you can see this message done and how long it took in seconds. So now we need to scroll all the way up to verify which version of the server we installed. So scroll up all the way to the top and check the text that says starting Minecraft server version 1.14.4. Depending on when you installed all the tools, you might see a different version of the server, but it is important to notice which version you're currently running because you need to match that version of Minecraft. If you fail to match the versions, then you won't be able to connect to your server. So again, it's very important that you note uh, the version of Spigot that you are running. In our case, it's 1.14.4. Okay, so let's open Minecraft, find the launcher. And we cannot use this version, the latest release, because this is Minecraft 1.15. We need to install the version that matches our server. So go to installations, click on new and Give this new installation a name, a cool name like Python X Minecraft. And find from the version menu the release that matches our server version, which is 1.14.4 and create. Now go back to the main menu by clicking this icon Minecraft Java Edition. And before you hit play, from the drop down, select our version that we just created. Make sure to always do that or you won't be able to connect. Once you select that, click play. And this might take a while if, if you never ran this version before, so be patient. Once Minecraft loads, go to multiplayer. And we need to create a new server here, add a new server. So give it a name, I'll call it Minecraft X Python server and for address just type localhost. Don't worry too much about what this means, localhost means that the server is running locally on our computer and not somewhere else on the cloud. So localhost and click done. Now. To see the server, you might need to hit refresh and confirm that this green icon shows. This green icon tells you that your server is up and running. If, for instance, instead you see a red X, then you might have a problem with your server. So if everything is good, double click the server to connect to it. And we are in. I'm going to make this window bigger and I will explore the world 
a bit. So by default, you will be set to a creative mode world. So feel free to explore. If you double press the space bar, you can fly. So fly and look around, explore the world a little bit. If you want to go down, press shift. If you hold it, then you will go down for a long time. And if you just want to completely drop, then press the spacebar twice and you will drop to the floor. So go, explore. And this is it. Our server is up and running and we can connect to it through Minecraft.